Hey, man, speaking of stolen, man. Okay, let's let's you know we got some hip hop history, man. Did you really take the notebook, man, for Flip? This, bro? Yeah, that's my do- <laughs> look, that's my little brother. Let me tell you this story. That's my dog. That's my dog. I'm at the Cornerstone South Vegas with Scarface from. My little partner from the booth, they went crazy when they see like face them niggas respected the nigga like this little nigga hard. The nigga face always told me that. But that same hood, uh, that's where my that's where my wife was from, right? So that's why I would be. I'm at the Cornerstone. A little nigga come up to me. The nigga say, "Say, man." My name Lil Flip. You one of my favorite rappers. I'm like, okay. He was like, man, I, you know, I'm trying to rap. Da, da, da. The nigga would come to my house, my my uh, my mother-in-law house. I swear to God, my wife used to be like, why did the dude come? I said, man, leave the nigga alone. The nigga want to rap. You know, he just had it in him. We start hooping. Bow, bow, bow. We make up a, it's a nigga named Shunny Poo paid me $1,500 to do a verse, right? Do a song. He working on the compilation. I tell Flip, this was gonna be the first song I put him on. I say, man, since you're gonna, you know, you're trying to come out and we fucking with each other, come on, let's make up a live song. So we sit there, we make up a live song yeah. in the blank notebook that we bought at the show. You know, just a regular, just a regular notebook. <laughs> like we make up the song. <laughs> Boom. Said studio time up. My partner say, no, nah, bro, because he ain't know him at the time. He was like, nigga, no, nah, nigga. You know, this nigga was a street nigga. He like, bro, I'm paying you 1500 bro. I want a solo song. I called him, I say, look. The nigga don't want, you know, the nigga won't be to do the song by myself. I'ma just keep the hook like that. The nigga like, cool, no biggie. That was, that, it, it. the nigga was with me everywhere. Yeah. I put the, you know, I'm just keeping it real. I, me and my dog, we went to the, I took him to the jewelry store where I used to go get teeth. Niggas couldn't get diamonds in their teeth at that time. Yeah. You know, we was really, really cool. Yeah. It wasn't him that came up with all that shit. Mm. It was outside niggas just being around, yeah. pushing the buttons. So they was round us, so we all knew the story. We ain't really fall out behind that shit like that. Next thing I know, them niggas. Man, that niggas took flip. No, but da da da. You bitch. <laughs> niggas who know me knew I had millions of songs, nigga. Yeah. Rapping was in my blood. There's no way in the world that I would do that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know. Sony promoting him. Boom. Me, Fat Pat Kiki. Never ever you go do the record of history and check. Never called ourselves a freestyle king. We never said that word. Everybody else called it that. So, so here go our marketing plan. You gonna say freestyle king? He, matter of fact, DJ Screw. We want you. We got an event. We want you to come to. Uh, Screw go to the event. Screw don't fucking know the event. Give him a plaque. Get like that. So it's just like me and Pat and, 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 and Key never said we freestyle kings at that time. You know, that shit, that word came from other people making that word up. Then when the plaque come, that's when you so you know, that's when it was like Mo, we was young and, and it was always a messy nigga that pushed the buttons. You know what I'm saying? And that's my little bro. We man, man, that nigga kicking and laughing, we be giggling, cause we just ride everywhere. Just freestyling training. So that's my little bro. What yeah, yeah, bro? I already uh, it- Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.